This is color pigment, and this is going to go into epoxy, and we're going to pour epoxy over the countertop. It's going to create like a fake marble look with two or three colors for the marble color. Okay. Can, and Any can of these it? look, yeah, just okay. whatever you think looks good. So we can go with this. It's more on the rosy side, but I really Ooh. like this tone. This is perfect. Of course, with marble, we got go with like a black. Okay. Is this too pink? You can mix it in with the gold or something. Yeah, it has potential, but I think yeah. those, are, those are good. These are good? Okay, yeah. cool. So it's super messy, and we don't want to get our clothes dirty, so right. we got to put on some paint smocks. Bet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah! I have some extra scraps of MDF, and we're just going to pour right on top of that. Take a little color pigment, mix it up real good. That's stunning. Whoa, look Whoa. how bright that look is. That's beautiful. So this pours all over, spread them around a little bit. This is really fun. Then we just let it kind of drip over it like this. It's your finger and you kind of create the look. Yes. Honestly, I was like, okay, so how, how is this gonna look on a countertop? Cause we doing it. It's not, it's not like we getting it from a store. We are doing it. Like it's our fingers making little swooshies and whatever. I have no words, like this is so interesting. <laughs> it's a really cool way to be creative. Wow, that looks really way better than my side. Don't even look at my side. <laughs> <laughs> Joni's epoxy countertops. It's really easy and so simple, yet so artistic and amazing. So our swooshies were a success. And luckily, our crew was also able to damage control that bathroom setting us up to put in the new countertop. This looks amazing. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And I have an idea for what I want to put up there. OK. I got some beautiful pathos. These are Ooh. hanging plants that I think when we think about like the spa vibe and mm. this theme. With plants like these and also mm. real eucalyptus that'll add up there, it'll really smell like a spa. Yeah. Really adding like that spa-like element cool. that Marseille talks so highly of. OK, so I'll leave you to this. OK. Um, but let me know if you need me. Sure. Tiffany has a great idea, which is like this tennis heart, which is inspired by her Love Rocks Foundation logo. I love the idea. It's so sweet and it's so fun. I feel like it's way like age appropriate for the room and it's gonna personalize it even more. <laughs> it's so big! Yeah! Whoa! Really good job, Marseille. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. This looks so amazing. Now that we have this beautiful shape, mm -hmm. we need to lay out the tennis ball. So uh, hopefully this becomes something that just reminds her uh, of her voice and to continue to use it um, mm -hmm. in such a positive, impactful way. Of course, especially in this day and age where a lot of people are really scared to use their voice. It's really uh, reassuring, not just to me, but for other kids as well, to see other young activists speaking up for themselves and using their voices for, you know, what they believe in, you mm -hmm. know? So it's crazy how bullying is like, it's it's insane how it's still really like a big thing. Especially you know? like 14 is such a critical age mm -hmm. to figuring out who you are as a woman. No one deserves hate like that, you know? Yeah. So I, I hope this really makes her happy. And Yeah, it will. And it'll be a backdrop that every time she walks in her room or she's on her Zoom calls or yeah. you know, she's hanging out doing her makeup with her little sister, she'll have that reminder that love wins. Yeah. Okay.